Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. We got a fun show today. Uh, we're going to get into uh, Jaime Munguia and the reaction, all the reaction to his good win yesterday over Gabe Rosado, a 12 round unanimous decision. Uh, but before we do that, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media, 3D Boxing. Uh, quick hits comes at you. Uh, comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. Um, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. It's completely dedicated to Texas Boxing. Goes uh, Everything goes to Autism Research and Recovery, so please help us uh, monetize that channel and get uh, up and running. Uh, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, Jaime Mogia. Um you know, everyone's out there saying it's the best performance of his of his career, and, and that's fine. You know, um, save the Saddam Ali fight, but this is against somebody you know more his own size. Um, it was a it was a good performance. Um, he beat Gabe, beat him up. Um, Gabe landed a ton of shots, but you know, uh, Mugia's work rate, a punch output was was tremendous. Um, uh, and people are saying now it's a lot more interesting with him. Um, Based on this performance in, in the past of what we thought with Mugia. And, and I still don't think he beats anyone, um, any of the top 160 pounders. I, I, I don't see that personally. Um, 160, there's some good fighters in it. Uh, you know, I, I don't know if they're going to put him in with Golovkin next, but that's an idea. Um, it's a bad idea for, for, for Golovkin. Uh, for, for Mugia, Golovkin would, would destroy him. He still gets hit way too much. We're going to get into some of the things that, some, some of the flaws that I see in Mugia. Um, you know, uh, you know, the other names in that division, um, Charlo, he's not beating Charlo. Laura, he's not beating Laura. Chris Eubank Jr., that's an interesting one. Uh, Demetrius Andre, now Andre outboxes him. Uh, Liam William beats him up. Um, I, I, I'm sorry, not Liam. No, he can beat Liam Williams. I'm sorry. Um, he can beat Liam Williams. I'm just look, looking at some of the other names, top names at 160. Uh, and, you know, those names right there, uh, Gennady Gna- uh, Gla- Gna- Golovkin knocks him out. Um, Charlo beats him up. Laura outboxes him. Eubank Jr. Uh, uh, and then Andre beats him up. Uh, Andre would outbox him. Um, look, look, there's a lot to like about Mungia. Um, he's fun. He throws a lot of punches. He he comes forward. Not enough though. Um, you know he's always going to be in a fun fight. And when he beats Gabe, and he beat up Gabe pretty good. Although Gabe was game, Gabe was tough. Gabe won some rounds. Uh, it was a good fight. Um, people are going to have this overreaction. And first of all, I want to get into that too. This was not the fight of the year. Uh, on Twitter, I tweeted out there were at least four fights just off the top of my head, to- top of dome, that were a better fight. You you have um, Tank and ba- Barrios was a better fight. You have Wilder Fury 3 was a better fight. Chuck Latino with Estrada 2 was a better fight. And then... Um, Valdez and and Burchell was a better fight, but this was a good fight. You know, it's not the fight of the year, not even close, but it was a really fun fight. Uh, it was a good fight, and now this is overreaction from from fans in regards to Munguia, like he's going to beat the top guys at one sixty, and he's not. Look, he he punches. Okay, it's good. He's not a big hitter. He hit Gabe three hundred times, didn't even hurt his feelings. He's not a big puncher. This idea that him and David Benavides are big punchers, they're not. If they did, they'd be stopping guys like this, right? If he was a big puncher, he would have stopped Gabe because he hit him three hundred times. If you know, they're not that big of punchers. They're volume punchers. They throw a lot. They're not feather fisted. They're not Billy Joe Saunders in there, but they're not big hitters. If they were, I mean, these fights wouldn't go that long. Um, he's also look. He McGee's footwork is still really slow. He he's not outboxed our Sunday Laura. He's not gonna get in and, and, and beat down Laura. Laura is gonna move, hit him with the left hand, keep circling, hit him with the left hand, and it's gonna be a bloodbath. Right? He's not at that level, although he's a fun fighter to watch. 
he'll sell more tickets than Laura, but he can't beat Laura. Um, the other names in that division, Andre, the same thing. You know, um, Andre would just work him. Andre would just outbox him from the outside, tie him up, smother him on the inside. Andre's good like that. Charlo's a pure boxer puncher, a much better pure boxer than, than, than Munguia. I think Charlo, you know, wins a decision against him fairly wide, although there could be interesting moments in that fight. And then uh, Golovkin, I mean, it's a fun fight, but um, Golovkin hits a lot hard. Golovkin can knock out Munguia. Munguia cannot knock out Golovkin. Um, so it's a fun fight, and I'm not opposed to them making the fight, but understand that Golovkin's going to win. And Murata, uh Murata Mongia would be a fun fight, although I think Murata still hits way harder. So Murata's going to stop him, too. Um, but it's it's fun fight. They're good fights in there, and, and he makes the fights entertaining. I just don't think he wins these fights. I don't think he beats any of those names like that. Actually, I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Um, so what, what, what flaws do I see? Look, he's a volume puncher. His footwork is still a mess. His footwork is a disaster, right? On top of that, on top of having terrible footwork, like, he's just really slow-footed. Like, he's flat-footed and slow. He can't fix that. Like, he's just slow. Like, it's like some people are feather-fisted. He's not feather-fisted. He's not big as him. But, you know, he, he can't fix it. He can't fix how bad his foot speed is. It's just that bad. He's just slow and plotting. He's, he is a come forward fighter who goes backwards too much. He can't fight going backwards. And, and he fought better going backwards. I, I don't want to say he can't fight going backwards because he did better – Going back, but he's not beating top knock names. He's not beating Tolo or Golovkin going backwards. He's going to have to come forward. But he comes forward, he gets hit too much, right? So it's a bad combination of things. Um, you know, he used his jab more. That was good. You know, he's a big guy, right? But he's not as good as David Benavides. He can't wear you down. He's not as quick as Benavides. Um, you know, his body attack isn't as good as Benavides, right? Like he's a poor man's Benavides, but I don't even think that's a fair comparison. Um, Carlos Adames would be a good fight. Like, uh, well, that's 154. Uh, I'm trying to think of names that he can beat. And it, it's, it's at the top level. I don't think he beats these guys. Um, but I don't want to take anything away from him. You know, I, I like to see where he goes next. I'm, I'm guessing he's going to stay at 160 for a while. You know, he comes up from 54. I, I, I think Golovkin early next year could happen. I think uh, Chris Eubank is, is a name that could happen. Um, you know, there there are some names that they could put him in with. Um, but I'm just looking around, and I'd like to see him make the Laura fight, right? Like, Laura wants that name. Laura wants that name on his resume. They could do it with, with, with Mugia. He would outclass Mugia. Um uh, there's still a lot of things that, that Mugia needs to work on, namely the footwork. The hand, the foot speed, he can't do anything about, right? Um, he gets hit too much with your head a little bit. You know, don't come straight in all the time. Try to use a little bit more angles is a thought. But, you know, what he does, he does really well. It's just not good enough to beat the top names, I don't think. But let me know what you guys think. I'm not saying it wasn't his best performance. It was a good performance. It was, it was probably the best performance of his career, given the level of opposition. The only other one we could talk about is Sam Ali. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Um, all proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's near and dear to our heart. It is November 14th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.